Welcome to the channel, guys. Beatle one four three seven, and today we're going to be talking about Josh Donaldson signing with the Atlanta Braves. Now, for some of you guys that are new to the channel, uh, I did something like this last year where I talked about some of the you know signings and trades that went on throughout the, uh, the throughout the MLB off season, and we're going to be doing that again here this year. And we're going to start with Josh Donaldson signing with the Atlanta Braves, like I said once again. And uh, let's just get right into it. So Josh Donaldson signed a one year, I believe, twenty three million dollar deal. Uh, with the Atlanta Braves, which is not bad, you know, Atlanta was gifted Josh Donaldson here, in my opinion, mainly because of health, obviously, when you look at, you know, when you look at Josh Donaldson, you could, you know, you think this guy's gonna get a four or five year deal, 20 to 25 million per, because he's that type of, you know, he's that type of player, and when healthy, Josh Donaldson is an MVP, 2016, he was an MVP, uh, 2017, he played 113 games, he wasn't completely gone for the, uh, 2017 season, but he was hurt for a good chunk of it, uh, not half, but a good chunk. And in 2018, I mean, he was pretty much gone for most of the season. He only played 52 games uh, throughout that season. And <coughs> excuse me, guys, I just had a cough there. Uh, but when you look at yeah, when you look at Josh Donaldson, I mean, you think about it, right? Good bat can get you 30 to 35 home runs with 100 RBIs, and can bat 280, 290. Has good on base percentage, and on top of the good on base and a good offense, he can. Obviously, play third base with the best of them. I mean, he's no Arenado, yes, but he can still play third base with the best of them. And when healthy, he can play third base with the best of them. I mean, we obviously know about that uh, horrific opening week uh, against the Yankees where he just could not throw the ball to first base because he had a dead arm. But once again, that's due to health, not due to the fact that he's not an elite defender. The other thing that I can sit here and say about the Atlanta Braves is Atlanta has been looking for a third baseman for the longest time now. Pretty much for two years, I should say. It's not been the longest time, but they've been looking for a good replacement since Chipper Jones. This is probably the best replacement they've had for Chipper Jones since Chipper Jones has departed from third base. And when you think about it, right, they had five guys, I believe, play third base. I believe Brandon Phillips was one of them. Jose Batista, uh, Rio Ruiz, you know, to name a, to name a few. And they didn't get much production from those guys. You know, they did get some decent production from some guys, but not from all of them. And, uh, you know, Jose Batista ended up getting traded. He was, he had a short stint, so he didn't get to do much there at all. And you just look at this deal and you think, this is a cheap deal. You know, they got him on the cheap. The question really is, is that not only can Donaldson stay healthy, but if Donaldson performs to the cap, you know, to the, to the capabilities of which he can, he, he can, do you sign him long term? And that's a question that, like I said, we will find out if he stays healthy. Um, and that, that's also going to be the thing that Atlanta will have to figure out. Like I said, I, I, do I believe Josh Donaldson is worthy of a deal um, that's going to take him into his mid to late 30s? I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, you, you, you would hope so. You would hope that that bat is able to play. Um, I am one of those guys that believes that you shouldn't be giving big-time contracts to guys in their 30s, or at least you know going into their late 30s, mid to late 30s, I should say. But Donaldson could be one of the uh, you know exceptions, in my opinion. I believe Donaldson could play a really good third base. I believe that he is going to be for the Braves if they can just put all of this together, which they're, I believe they're close. You know, they won the um, they won the division, but they're still a piece or two away from being the elite team in the National League East, like they were back in the early 2000s and even in the 90s. And can he be a, a big center point for that? Yes, but he has to stay healthy. Uh, he has to age well. He has to, make, you know, keep himself in as great, sh uh, as great a shape as he can. And to be honest with you, Atlanta, like I said, once again, they they stole they stole Donaldson. I mean, if Donaldson stays healthy and has a great season, two great seasons with the you know Toronto Blue Jays, in which he's playing a hundred and you know fifty to one hundred and fifty five games, this is a different story. We don't even I don't even think we talk about Josh Donaldson being an Atlanta Brave. I think Donaldson gets you know picked up by some of the bigger teams out there in the market, but he wasn't healthy. He, you know, he had some, you know, he had some things that he had to prove. He has to prove that he can be that type of player once again. And I believe he will. I don't think that this is a, I don't think this is a bad deal. I think you add him in there or, you know, Freeman and you put Freeman, what do you want to put Freeman third or do you want to put Freeman fourth? I, I am, I'm in the opinion that you put Freeman in the, you know, the three slot, you give him the four, you get Donaldson the four and you can put Acuna five. If you really trust that Acuna can have that bat and you lead off uh, Ozzy Albies, you have a switch hitting. Uh, second baseman that can lead off, you know, that's a good, good infield. That's probably one of the better infields in the game with, you know, Donaldson and, and you know, Freeman and Albies and Dansby Swanson if he can play up to his potential as well. 
And that's pretty much it. I mean, that's all I can really say about this deal here with Josh Donaldson going to the Atlanta Braves. It's a good deal. It's a deal that's not really going to hurt them if he doesn't perform. He could, he'll come right off the books if he doesn't perform. And the only problem you may have is that if he does perform well, can Atlanta, one, afford him? And if and two, will Atlanta be willing to pay him the big bucks and give him that contract if he performs well uh, in the next coming season? So that's it, guys. I just wanted to give my quick little thoughts there on what's going on with, you know, the Braves and what I think the Braves have. I think the Braves have one of the best infields for sure in the National League. I don't think they have the best infield in the National League, but one of the best infields in the National League. The Cubs, I believe, are the best infield in the National League. Baez, Simmons, Rizzo, Bryant, those guys are just, they're just too good. I mean, they're really just too good out there in Chicago. So, that's it. Like I said, once again, like the video if you guys uh, like the video and comment as well. Let me know what you guys think about Josh Donaldson going to the Atlanta Braves. You guys like the move? Do you guys not like the move? And, if you guys want to hear my thoughts on the James Paxton deal, well, I talked about that in my uh, Immortal Mike Trout video for some of you guys that might like MLB The Show. If you guys don't, hey, maybe you guys will like the uh, just the feedback and kind of what I thought about the deal. And uh, that's it. Thank you.